Hello, this is TSD lesson 3.2. In this, I will discuss about the questions on relative speed. This is in continuation with lesson 3.1. These are the different type of question on the same concept of relative speed. Now, what you have to do for best learning, pause this video, look at the question, try to solve yourself each and every question of this lesson. There are four questions in this lesson and then look at the way I have solved. So first question I am solving, the distance between two cities P and Q is, distance between two cities P and Q is 610 km. This is given to you, 610 km, this is the distance given to you. A train start from P at 8 am and reaches towards Q at 60 km per hour. Another train starts from Q at 9 am and travels towards P at 50 km per hour. At what time do they meet? This is what we need to calculate. Train A starts from P at, this is given to us, 8 am train b starts from q another train at 9 am the speed of this train a is given to us at 60 km per hour this train speed is 50 km per hour now we simply can't add 60 plus 50 and calculate distance here the timings are different first thing that you need to do in such questions is to make the time same can i say at 9 am this train a will be here 9 am 9 am this train a will be here what is the speed of train a this is 60 kilometer this distance is 60 kilometer now what is the distance left? This complete distance was 610. Now what is the distance left? This distance complete distance was 610 kilometer. I am cutting this. Now this distance would be how much? 5 50 kilometer will be left. Now 9 am train A is here, train B is here. Now time is same. Now we can this question becomes like this two trains are running in opposite direction simultaneously at what time do they meet time we need to calculate time is distance upon speed right? train a train b is here at point q the distance we need to reduce the gap of 550 kilometer in order to meet because the gap will become zero when they will meet so we need to reduce the gap of 550 kilometer speed now speed you can take the relative speed Two objects are moving in opposite direction. Relative speed would be 60 plus 50, 110 km per hour. So gap is reducing at a rate of 110 km per hour because relative speed means increase or decrease in gap per unit time. So you can see that after 5 hours, they will meet. 5 hours means 9 am plus 5 hours. Your answer would be 2 pm. The two trains will meet each other second question train x started from a at 4 am reach station b at 10 am this is let's say i'm making this this is a b train x started from here train x starting from this point at 4 am this is 4 am reached b at 10 am 6 hours so train x is taking 6 hours to cover from a to b second the question saying train y started from point b second diagram again a b the distance we don't know how much distance is there train y i am making small y train y starting from b here towards a at 5 am this is 5 am train y is at point b and reach the destination at point a 11 am this is given to us both are taking 6 hours 
now we don't know the speed we don't know the distance now first thing i will i want to say here is that speed of both the train is same why because speed of train x is distance upon time distance ab is is covered by train x and time is 6 hours same way speed of train y distance upon time distance is covered by train y is also ab and time is 6 you can see that ab by 6 ab by 6 ab by 6 ab by 6 both the train speed will be equal so can i say speed of train x is speed of train y first thing here to understand you don't need to make the diagram in exam i'm just making the diagram in order to explain you the question in detail in exam you simply need to understand both trains are taking six hours and the distance is same so obviously their speed will be same no need to write and make this kind of diagram now when the speed is same what to do we can assume any kind of speed you can assume that speed of both the train is 100 km per hour as well as 100 km per hour you can assume any value and try to solve the question as i told you you can solve the question with the help of concept option logic and assumption here i am assuming speed as 100 and 100 you can assume 10 10 20 20 whatever as your convenience now what will the distance both trains are taking 6 hours so distance will be 100 into 6 600 kilometer will be total distance this total distance would be 600 kilometer now train x was starting from here train y was starting from here this is point a this is point b now train x started from a at 4 am and train b start train y started from b at 5 am timing is not same we will make the time same at 5 am x will be here at 5 am x will be here and 5 am the train y is at point b so 100 km is the speed so 100 km distance the train will cover in one hour because at 4 am the train x at 4 am the train x is at point a in one hour the train x will cover 100 km so at 5 am the train x will be here train y is at here 5 am only when the time is same then you can apply the concept of relative speed because relative speed concept is applicable when both things are running simultaneously at 4 am the train x was only train running train b was stationary so when two objects are running then only you can take the relative speed into action two things are running simultaneously then only you can take the relative speed now this distance total was 600 total distance was 600 i am writing here so this distance will remain how much this distance will become 500 this distance between train x and y this is will become 500 now relative speed is how much time to meet we need to calculate time time is distance upon speed now the gap between the two trains is 500 km so we need to reduce the gap of 500 km what is the relative speed two objects are running in opposite direction train x is moving here y is moving here both speed is 100 km per hour we have assumed the speed 100 km per hour so see 100 plus 100 200 km per hour the gap will reduce at the speed of 200 km per hour relative speeds 100 plus 100 200 so this is 2.5 hours after 5 pm so the both train will met at 7 30 because 5 pm plus 2.5 hours 7 30 that will be the option number fourth fourth option this fourth option will be your final answer this question is a bit different from the previous question train x started from a at 4 am and reached station b at 6 10 am now i will not make the three four diagrams i will only say that train x in this case is covering the distance a b in train x this is let's say a b i'm taking train x is this this train x is covering this distance in six hours train y is covering that is distance a b train y is covering this distance a b in how many hours train y started from b at 7 am and reached a at 11 4 hours 
at what time these two trains cross each other. This is what we need to calculate. Now you can see that distance is in both the cases same. Both trains are traveling distance A B. So distance is same in both the case. So we will take the speed of first case, time of first case, speed of second case, time of second case. As we know that distance is speed into time. So speed of train A X is let's say S X. This is speed of train X. Time of train X is six hours. Speed of second train, speed of train S Y. Time is four hours. So you can see that speed of X upon speed of Y becomes two by three. Here first I will go to the speed. Speed ratio is two is to three. We can assume speed of X as train X as eighty kilometer or one twenty. You can assume any values which are in the ratio two is to three. You can assume twenty, thirty, two hundred, three hundred. I have taken eighty and one twenty by multiplying two as well as three by forty. Now what the question was saying, at what time these two trains will meet? Now as the distance A B is there, train X is moving from here to here, train Y is moving from here to here. First we need to calculate total distance. Total distance we know you can calculate either with the eighty is the S X speed. So total distance D, you can say that D was S X into six. Speed of train one we can take an eighty. So eighty into time is six. Or you can say the one twenty into four. The distance was four eighty kilometer. This is distance we have taken. So this total distance is four eighty kilometer. This is a total distance. Now what is the train speed? Eighty and one twenty. This is eighty kilometer per hour. This is one twenty kilometer per hour. Now both train are not starting at the same time. The timing is different. Train X started from station A at four a.m. and train B starting at seven a.m. So three hours early, the train X is starting. In three hours, train X will cover how much distance? Three hours. Train X will cover two forty distance. Two forty kilometer in three hours. Train X will be here at seven a.m. At four a.m. the train X was here at this point. At seven a.m. two forty distance will cover. The remaining would be two forty kilometer. Train Y at seven a.m. is here at a speed of one twenty. Now what is the time to meet? Now we can take the latest speed. Now the time is same. So time is distance upon speed. We need to reduce the gap of two forty kilometer. The existing gap between train X and train Y. This is existing gap two forty kilometer. Latest speed is train X is moving here at a speed of eighty kilometer per hour. So latest speed is one in twenty plus eighty two hundred kilometer per hour. You can simply cancel this twenty four by twenty. This six by five. One point two hours. One point two hours means you know that point one hour sixty minutes. We know that one hour is equal to sixty minutes. Point one hour will be six minutes. Point two hours will be twelve minutes. So one hour twelve minutes. The two trains will meet after seven. A.M. So answer will be eight twelve A.M. That is option number three. Eight twelve A.M. The two trains will meet. Here is the fourth question. Two trains start from P and Q respectively. This is point P. This is Q. At a speed of sixty five and fifty five. By the time they meet, the faster train covered hundred kilometer more than the slower train. Let's say this is faster train T F. T S is the slower train. Fastest train speed is sixty five kilometer per hour. Slower train speed is fifty five kilometer per hour. Both are moving in opposite direction. Now, in one hour, by common sense, in one hour, faster train will cover ten kilometer extra because it will cover sixty five train. Slower train will cover fifty five. So, one hour extra distance by faster train would be how much? Ten kilometer. So. In order to cover hundred kilometer extra, ten hours will be required because every hours the faster train will cover 
एवरी आवर्स द फास्टर ट्रेन विल कवर टेन किलोमीटर एक्स्ट्रा इन टेन आवर्स इट विल कवर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर एक्स्ट्रा सो इट मीन्स दैट टू ट्रेन मेट आफ्टर टेन आवर्स दिस इज द कंक्लूजन वी हैव गॉट बिकॉज क्वेश्चन से दैट वेन एवर दे मेट द फास्टर ट्रेन हैज कवर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर एक्स्ट्रा वी नो दैट इन ऑर्डर टू कवर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर एक्स्ट्रा टेन आवर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड सो इट मीन्स दैट ट्रेन मेट आफ्टर टेन आवर्स नाउ वट वी डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस वी नो दैट इज स्पीड इन टू टाइम स्पीड इज रेटिव स्पीड वन हंड्रेड टेन किलोमीटर पर आवर रेटिव स्पीड इज सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी फाइव ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर मूविंग इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन वी कैन एट द स्पीड टाइम इन टेन आवर्स हाउ मच डिस्टेंस दे विल कवर इलेवन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन स्टेशन पी एंड क्यू सो इन दिस वे यू कैन सोल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन लेस देन थर्टी सेकेंड सो दैट वॉज लेसन दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट लेसन थ्री पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन ऑन लेटी स्पीड इन नेक्स्ट लेसन आई विल कंटिन्यू विद मोर ऑन टी एस डी थैंक यू